Hi guys, welcome to another episode of It's Your Kitchen. Today, uh, first, always, foremost, I'd love to thank all of my followers from Aruba, St. Martin, Bonaire, Curaçao, Guyana, Suriname, Rhode Island, Florida, Memphis, Tennessee, Arkansas, um, Ohio, California, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, um, Suriname, uh, and I said Suriname, <laughs> uh, England, the Netherlands, guys, um, I think, yeah, Arkansas, yeah, Arkansas, <laughs> guys, thank you for joining me once again for another episode of It's Your Kitchen. Um, today, very simple recipe, might be look odd for you, but it's something that, um, that I tend to do a lot, uh, well, not often, all right? Let's let me clarify that not often, <laughs> but first, please don't forget click the notification bell and uh, the note um, and the subscribe um, button because what happens is every time I come up with a new episode, you'll be the first to be notified that a new show is on. All right, so again, guys, all I'm going to be doing today is fried chicken. Um, again, it's my way how I do it. If you have your way, please. Take a picture, send it to me. Um, I will have this um, this a YouTube link um, posted with the It's Your Kitchen website on Facebook. So if you please send me a picture of your type of uh, fried chicken and I will post it onto the website as well. Leave just your first name and where you are, where you are at, all right? So guys, um, stay tuned. I'm going to show you um, the recipes that I use and we'll get started. All right. Welcome back, guys. Here we are. Okay. For the uh, for my um, way of doing fried chicken, um, again, this might be a little odd, but, you know, we're here. We're here to learn. We share. We have fun in the kitchen. All right. Because keep in mind, this is not a, um, a teaching channel. It's just having fun in the kitchen with each other. All right learning how different um how we do different things and again recipes was made um by someone making mistakes in the kitchen and that's how a recipe was born all right well here we go for the um for the ingredients what i have here i purchased um two large um well not really large medium size whole chicken legs and i just cut them in half so I have a thigh and a drumstick so two thighs and two drumsticks all right here I have one cup of um, breadcrumbs I have here a can which is already open let me turn it for you so you can see it doesn't have to be this brand guys this is one can of evaporated milk all right I have here in my Ziploc bag two cups of all-purpose flour and for the um, spices or seasoning I have here a cinnamon, um, cracked black pepper, oops, uh, onion powder, I'm sorry garlic powder. If you do have onion powder of granulated onions please use it as well I don't have any so I'm going to use what I have I have also here um, dry thyme if you can see that in there gotta restock soon <laughs> and also my Himalayan pink salt if you don't have Himalayan pink salt if you have regular um, sea salt or even um, regular table salt that will do as well all right and also for a little heat, not too much. It all depends on your palate, on your heat palate. I have some uh, cayenne powder. All right. So what I'm going to do first, this is where some will say it's a little weird. I will take my um, evaporated milk and just pour it onto my chicken. Now for us in the Caribbean, I don't get scared because I know in the US they said do not wash your chicken guys here in the Caribbean we do wash our chicken 
all right sorry they said it can uh, contaminate your surface look you just have to do that extra step and just if you have those Clorox wipes or um, the bleach wipes you just clean your surface as you, uh, when you're done but we do clean our chicken my chicken was already also pre-seasoned with I'm gonna show you right now it is a mixture a complete seasoning as they call it this is what it looks like it has different type in there a little bit of salt not too much it's some um, parsley it's just a mixture that's why they call it a um, complete seasoning it's really great it's really great if you can find it I would say give it a shot all right so I'm gonna pour the entire um, milk in there all right and then what I'm gonna do uh, for a little heat not much guys you don't have to do that much all right the cayenne pepper may be I would say about a, a half a teaspoon all right a half a teaspoon and that's it if you want more you place more in but you don't have to all right guys stay oh I'll be right back I'm gonna just place my camera on uh, its stand so then I can show you um, the dry how I pour the dry ingredients how I mix that up all right so stay tuned welcome back guys all right for um, for the before I, um, I continue uh, for the chicken you can leave the chicken um, the skin on um, basically I guess there's where you will get a lot more of the little nice crunch or what have you but I took it off um, I'm gonna try today without the skin <laughs> all right <laughs> all right so with this mixture with the chicken I will place in the refrigerator for about maybe um, two to um, two hours to three hours all right give me one second i'll place this in the refrigerator all right i'm still here with you guys all right leave that in there for about two three hours and now for my homemade shake and bake <laughs> okay so again in this um ziploc bag what i do have is two cups of all-purpose flour I do have the one cup of breadcrumbs. I'll pour that right in there. Okay. Place all of these on the side here. Okay. Now, what I have here, also I did not mention, I do have also cinnamon. If you also, if you do have any um, grated Parmesan, that would be great as well to use all right so what i'm going to do here i'm going to use my half a teaspoon measuring um utensils so a half a teaspoon of the um cinnamon grounded cinnamon place that on the side i'm going to actually put in um some cracked black pepper also about maybe half a teaspoon in there All right, there we go. Place that aside. I always tend to do that when I actually, <laughs> uh, when I know I have everything, I place everything in there, uh, put it aside. So I know I used it already. All right, here I have now my ground, um, my garlic powder. Not garlic salt, but garlic powder. Again, if you have onion powder or granulated onion, please go ahead and use it. I would use also about maybe a teaspoon of that. Yes. Yes, a teaspoon of the garlic powder. Place this aside. All right. Then what I have here is, of course, my Himalayan pink salt. I would use one, um, no, not one, a half a um, teaspoon. Yes, a half a teaspoon 
of of the Himalayan pink saw. I used a quarter. Yep, one. Here we go. It wasn't full. <laughs> Spoon was not full. And now, also, I would use my the dried thyme. Okay, I would use one teaspoon of dry thyme. If you have dry oregano, the same amount. Pop that in there. All right, that's done. Place this aside. All right, I'm not gonna use the cayenne because I already placed that with the mixture in the refrigerator with the chicken. So I'm not going to be using um, the cayenne for this in this mixture here. So what it do is basically, you know, you just gotta uh, season your flour mixture. Cause a lot of people just dredge, dredge it, the chicken, put it in an egg wash, have your assembly line with your egg wash, your breadcrumbs, and also your uh, flour. But a lot of people forget, you need to um, season the flour, all right? So what I'm doing here, I'm just gonna mix this up. Get them all nice and married in there. And then I will set this aside until when I'm ready for the chicken. All right. So once the chicken is all ready, because what's happening now with the chicken in the refrigerator, it's actually the milk mixture is uh, penetrating through the meat part and kind of as a tenderizer. All right. Okay, get you all in there. And if you notice, I have not mentioned anything with no eggs. Because what I'm going to do, as soon as the chicken is ready to be placed in the bag to do my own homemade chicken bake, it will go from the bag directly in to the pot of um, oil. Keep in mind, your oil should be around maybe 350 degrees. All right? Um, you don't want to overcrowd the pot either because you want to re keep that um, that heat in the pot constant. All right. If you have paprika as well, you can place paprika in here in your homemade chicken bake. All right. So that's about it. So this will be set aside and it will be uh, patiently be waiting for the chicken to do its um, two hour, I would say about two hours marinade and then we're gonna start doing our frying. So guys, don't go away, be right back. Welcome back guys. It has been actually two hours. Uh, great thing about editing. <laughs> All right, let's open up the chip. Oh wow, it did just what I wanted if you can see right there. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna dredge it um, by using my, my own homemade chicken bake method. I have my, my pot on the, um, on the stove top. Um, it's heating up again. I have it on medium flame and I'm using one of my small pots and I'm not gonna crawl the pot too much with, um, with the chicken so i will do two chicken at a time in the um in the pot all right so what i'm gonna do i got my trusty little thongs here all right mix this in pretty good in here and then i'm just gonna just slightly just stick it out and let all the excess um liquid drain Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. If you can see what I here I'm doing, all right. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna place it right inside of my Ziploc bag. I'm gonna move this here aside so you can see exactly what's all going on. All right, okay, so my chicken in, is in there. I'm just gonna just uh, close my Ziploc bag. And if you notice, hands are washed, but hands are still clean. <laughs> All right. You just get it nice and coated in there. Let the dry mixture get to know the chicken good. 
All right. Really get it in there. You can really get, press that dry mixture into that chicken. Let it really, really stick good. All right. Come on, come on. All right. Now give me one second. I'm gonna take the camera up and I will we will go over to the stove top. So I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Here we are guys. I have to actually put the camera down and start this process so I can use my both hands. But as you can see, I use a smaller pot. It's not really a cast iron. A lot of people, if you have cast iron, you use it. But this is pretty close for me. Um, the flame is on medium. I'm, uh, once I place it in, I'm going to leave it on each side about maybe three to five minutes. Not touching it because if you touch it too much, what happens? You will lose a lot of the coating. So let it brown, get its nice golden brown after three, five minutes. Then you flip it over. All right. So get a Hollywood close up shot there. As you can see, you can see. I did say I did not, I took off the skin. Guys, I do apologize. I left the skin on. <laughs> all right. So here you go. So um, I'm going to fry it all up. And once it's all done, then I will show you the um, the final product. All right, guys? And you can eat this with whatever you like. Um, you can do it with some rice and beans. I think I might do that. I think I might do that. I have a rice cooker, so I put all of those ingredients in together. And have that with my fried chicken. All right? So see you in a while, guys. Don't go anywhere. Once again, just come back to show you. I did turn it over. I left it about five minutes and I turn it over so you can see the nice um, golden brown that it's getting. A lot of people would say, you know, if you have to use a temperature gauge to make sure that the center of it is like 160 degrees or more, I don't have one. So it's a judgment call here. I've been doing it for a while, so I kind of pretty know. But if you have one of those um, thermometers, definitely use it. You know why? It's your kitchen. All right, so once again, it's once they're all done, I will plate them so you can see the final product. Well, guys, here you go, the finished product. Um, I have, I use one of my wire um, cooling racks. Some people would use, let's say, like um, um, the paper, the paper, um, oh, I can't bring the name right now, but a bounty paper, and they will place it on that and to soak up a lot of the oil. I've noticed in the past when I use some when I use that method, what tends to happen that the bottom part that touches the paper, it gets really soggy, doesn't stay crunchy. So once I purchase my cooling rack, I actually use that to let whatever excess um, oil um, drain from the chicken onto. I have one of my plates there, so it can drain perfectly on that so the chicken would stay completely crunchy all around all right guys i'm not going to eat it right now um, this is part of lunch so i start a little bit early but what i'm going to do i'm going to place this in my oven because my oven is um always warm and when it's time then i'm going to get right into that <laughs> all right guys so stay um stay tuned for my final um my final wording, as I should say. <laughs> Thank you once again, guys. Um, I have I just placed it in uh, my oven to keep it nice and warm. Um, but I love to thank you once again for joining me um, in my kitchen. And I share it with you with all of the products, everything that I do, any experience, anything I want to try out, I actually try it with you, with me in the kitchen. All right. So once again, I'd like to thank all of my followers from Aruba, St. Martin, Bonaire, Guyana, Suriname, Rhode Island, Florida, Memphis, Tennessee, Arkansas, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Oregon, uh, California, England, the Netherlands. Guys, thank you so, so much for always joining in with me, having fun with me in the kitchen. Again, please don't forget hit that notification bell and subscribe button so anytime i come up with a new video you'll be notified i will be placing all of um of course all of the ingredients that i use i never leave you stranded 
I, pl I will place it all with this video so you are if you want to try it you can give it a shot you can add your own flavoring as well all right as well uh, please I will place this um, YouTube video with on my Facebook account um, that's called it's your kitchen and you can place uh, put any comments you have um, take pictures um, send me some pictures and I would definitely pose them with it's your kitchen all right guys thank you thank you so much stay safe out there and always remember I keep repeating it but it's your kitchen have fun experiment that's what the whole that's how recipes were invented by exper um, experiencing and experimenting all right so guys enjoy your kitchen have fun all right see you soon <laughs>